Hi there, this is Colin, and I'm just addressing a small problem that there is between Beaver Builder and Dynamic Website Builder right now. So let's just show you what happens. So let's go into Page Builder here. I got a page already set up. I'm going to add a title. So I'm going to go basic. I'm going to add a heading title into here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my heading. What we're going to do is we're going to change the style. As you can see, my heading's there. I'm just going to center it, so I'm going to go center. Now, I've got this set to an H3. Now, what it's doing is it's picking up the heading settings in the dynamic theme. So right now, my dynamic theme is an H3 tag. That's what it looks like, okay? So if I go to H2, it will be slightly bigger, and we'll see that get bigger. Okay, now if I want to override that and go custom, what's happening is dynamic is actually overpowering Beaver Builder, and we can't change the font size. So if I make this a lot smaller, go down to 14, for example, you'll notice that it doesn't make any difference there. The size still stays the same at H3. So that's a bit of a problem in case we want to override a heading somewhere on our page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how we can get around that. But let's go back into our heading. And what we need to do is we need to go to our Advanced tab. And we're going to put in here something in the class setting down here, just something as a custom CSS that we can use to override. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my H2 heading. Let's, let's just put that one in for now and click save. So what that does is now actually assigned a custom class to it that you can't see anything change right now, but we will in a minute. So I'm going to click on done, publish my changes. Now, right now, that heading is an H2 two heading and I tried to override it in the Beaver Builder settings to go to let's say 14 pixels but nothing happened. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to my dashboard. I'm going to go to Genesis. I'm going to go down to Dynamic Custom and then my CSS panel. You might already have some stuff in here but I'm going to bring in a text file I've already prepared. I've already typed this up ready. So I want to override that and I want to make that heading I want to make it 14 pixels. Okay, so I'm just going to edit this for a second, make that 14 pixels high. I want to make it red and I want to make it bold. So I'm just going to click on save. Okay, let me first of all, before I do, let me explain the CSS is here. First of all, I'm telling it to do on the FL builder, which is the Beaver Builder content. I've told it to do on the Beaver Builder row, the FL row. There's my custom my H2 heading, and this one's actually designating it as a heading text. OK, so I need to have all these CSS identifiers in place for this to work. So I'm going to post this code below so that you can actually set your own and use it for your own headings. And obviously, you can just change your font. You can change the size. You can change the color. And you can change the weight. OK, so I'm going to click on Save Changes. Now, if we go back over to our front end and click on the F5 key just to refresh this page, you'll notice that my heading has now gone down to 14 pixels red bold. Okay, now if I want to just change that one, I'm going to show you how easy this is to change. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to make this 34 just so it's really big this time. I'm going to click Save Changes. Okay, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to click on F5 to refresh my page again. And there you can see I've overridden that particular title by just creating a custom CSS class. Very, very simple. Once you get used to it, it might seem a little bit complicated at first, but really, it doesn't take long to learn. Hope this has been useful. If you like my videos, please subscribe my YouTube channel and also recommend to your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye now.